Hi guys, and um, welcome to lesson two of this video series on AWS Kinesis. Um, I'm Johnny Chivers. Um, by day, I'm a data engineer uh, with over 10 years experience working with data, and I'm also five times AWS certified. Um, so in today's lesson, what we're going to do down here is lesson two. We're going to look at AWS consumers, and using that stream we built in lesson one as part of as the initial step in this app, we're going to take the data off that stream and start inserting it into DynamoDB. And to do this, we're going to use a Lambda function in this case, so we're going to keep it all inside AWS. Um, but it doesn't have to be a Lambda function. So first we'll cover the theory, and then we'll get into the console, and we'll start building, and we'll learn by doing. So quick bit of theory. A consumer is just a client that is taking data off the Kinesis data stream in this case, and consuming it. And to do that, there's the Kinesis consumer library. Um, it's available in Python, Node, Java. And that allows that consumer to subscribe to a stream and read off it. And it includes clever things like sequencing. So if it misses something, you can use a sequence number to check it. Or if the seek over drops, it knows where to pick back up into the stream. So that's the Kinesis client library. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a Lambda function. So that makes that event driven. So we're going to use an event driven um, architecture. It means that when a record lands onto the stream, our Lambda function, which is just serverless compute, knows that it arrives. Takes that lambda, takes that data off the stream, processes it through lambda, and then lands it in DynamoDB, where we'll be able to see it. Um, I think that's enough theory to get us started. Anything else that comes up on the console, I'll point out as we go. Um, so let's get started. So the next thing we need then is a lambda function to act. Um, as our consumer on the stream. So I'm just going to call this, uh, oh, so the next thing we need then is a Lambda function to act as our consumer on the on the stream itself. Um, I'm just going to create a function from scratch. I'm going to call it streaming hyphen function hyphen one. I'm going to write it in Python. Um, but just leave the default permissions. Um, <clears throat> And then what we'll do is we'll just change the permissions. So it's actually going to need permissions to interact with a couple of different things. Um, I have an existing rule already uh, called Lambda um, Full Access. So I'm just going to give it full access. If you don't have one, go create one. Um, there's plenty of videos on this channel about how to create um, access policies required. So uh, Python 3.6 stream function create. Okay, that's the function created. The first thing you want to do is add a trigger. So we're going to use Kinesis as our trigger here. Um, go add trigger, type in Kinesis, um, select Kinesis, uh, real time stream. Yep, uh, just select your string and then we're going to start from the latest position and we want to add. And you can see now that Kinesis is our trigger or is the trigger for our Lambda function to go off. Okay, so then what do we need to do next? We actually need to write the code. So if you click back on there under the streaming function, you get um, a code editor that we're just going to use. Rather than watching me type out the code by, by hand, I've actually put it on GitHub with the link in the description below. So just go over and copy and paste it um, into the console. The one thing I would add is that um, I'm using a table name that I set up. So if you change the table name, please do so accordingly. So what does this code actually do? Um, it reports a few libraries. Um, this is the method that it starts at. And then it uses the Boto3 library to get a DynamoDB client, sets the table to the table name that we've created um, a couple of seconds ago. So change that to your table name if you use something different. For every record in records, so inside the JSON, there's a, there's a key store of records we want a record from the records it's base encoded in 64 so this decodes the data to utf8 um i'm just printing the two things out to the out to the log so you can go have a view if you want um it then sets it back up as a json and writes it into the table so the next thing you need to do is make sure you click deploy you must click deploy or else this won't work um so that's the Lambda function set up. So now we have the Lambda function that's going to take the data off our stream act as a consumer and insert it into the DynamoDB table. So back on the Kinesis data generator, that starts sending that data. That's the data going. If we now go into the console and we go to items, you can see that that data has already started to arrive. So, this, so in summary, what we've done in this lesson is um, create a Lambda function that consumes off our stream acting as a trigger uh, using code that I posted on GitHub and inserts that data into the DynamoDB 
table. So that's everything for today. Um, I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all these resources as usual available on my website at www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And I look forward to seeing you in lesson three where we're going to use Kinesis Firehose to stream this data straight into an S3 bucket. Thanks very much.